Abraham! <laughs> what? Why are you dressed like an elf? Because, why are you dressed like an elf, for one? <laughs> what you said was in elf video, so... Elf makeup. Oh. I thought, well, I don't want to come as well as a ring elf, so I'll come as Christmas, Christmas spirit elf. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you want to see how he got his look, not how I got this, carry on watching. <laughs> So, before anything, we need to make sure we've got a good base to build on and we're going to be using the e.l.f. Putty Primer range. I'm using the Blemish Fountain Putty Primer. I'm going in with the Illuminating Putty Primer. Mine, apparently, um, is a makeup primer formulated with blemish fighting ingredients to fight future breakouts while smoothing skin for a flawless and even complexion. Well, I think I need that. I'm going in with Illuminating um, Putty Primer, which is infused with hyaluronic acid and vegan collagen to help plump and hydrate the skin. It leaves a velvety texture, glides effortlessly over the skin, smoothing over the imperfections for a poreless effect, which is obviously, mm -hmm. we've all got pores because we're human, so that's got to help it for They also do, it's a specific applicator and mm. it's like a brush on one end and like a scoop sort of spoon on the other so I'm gonna try this out and see how I get on I mean I'm just going in my fingers because sometimes no better tool than these phalanges a good finger right here we go can't smell anything no it's quite it just feels like moisturiser to be fair. Oh, it's a bit like clay. And the texture is different. I don't mind the texture, it's quite nice. And it does actually glide over the skin. The applicator's not too bad. Let's see what it's like applying. Alright, well, that's that done. Let's give that a second just to do its tang. It does say to wait 30 seconds after application to allow the product to dry in properly. Right, now the primer's done. Today we're going in with the Flawless Finish Foundation from e.l.f. Meet your match with the Skin Perfecting Foundation, now available in 40 shades. This highly blendable formula goes, goes on smooth as silk, providing medium to full coverage and weightless all day. Oh, I've got a new Real Techniques blender to try today. And as we know, I like Real Techniques, so I'm open. Definitely needs building up, but I can, yeah. I can see a difference like that's before that's after right now foundation set lead and so um, time to go in with concealer we're going in with the 16 hour camo concealer and it says that it's got a matte finish and it's 16 hour wear um a large day for it's meant to have a large day for applicator with avocado oil, moisturizers and protects skin. And also kaolin clay helps control excess oil and shine. And I actually got the um Elf concealer brush. Because I thought, oh let me try it. I I usually use a sponge but I thought oh, I want I want to start trying using more brushes. So I thought let's give it a try, so here we go. I'm hoping it's not going to be too my frame because I can't stand when my skin looks super dry and I find with a lot of mattifying products that's the effect I tend to get. I'm still trying to decide how much I like it. <laughs> Whether I think it, I feel it blends, it blends down quite well and it actually does interact with this foundation quite well as well to be fair. And you can actually see this luminosity primer. I'm sure you can actually see it coming through the foundation if you look at the high points of my cheeks. You've almost got like a glittering effect. It's like highlight. Yeah. Without highlighting yet. Well, that's me blended anyway with, found, with concealer and foundation. I've just gone in and contoured slightly with some of your concealer just to help add some coverage. Because for me, it's just not working. Whereas for me, it seems to have covered pretty nicely. 
this is the whole point of having two of us that like, review things in it together. Like we could see, like obviously, my skin tone and my skin texture is completely different to Tom's, and is different to mine. So if you if you like him, you're obviously going to like have more of an idea if we're going to work for you. Whereas if you like me, trust and believe if they ain't working or they ain't providing for people like us, I'm going to be saying. But yeah, I'm going with the Elf Putty Bronzer. Right, the, this um, new Elf Putty Bronzer comes in five shades. And it is a unique putty to powder bronzer that delivers highly pigmented, buildable colour for a natural sun-kissed glow. It smooths and evens out your complexion, lightweight, non-greasy wear, enriched with moisturising argan oil and vitamin E. So I'm not using this as a bronzer, I'm oh, using this it. as a contour. And I'm going in with this brush. I'm not actually really sure about this. I, it's like almost invisible on me. I don't know if I've got a dark enough colour. Or if it's going to be really subtle. But I'm not really... Where's my post up mirror? I need to inspect this. So just give me a minute. Personally I think it's really subtle. And this looks mad right now, but when I blend it, it'll look alright, trust me. Trust and believe. Right, next we're going in with the Elf Putty Eye Primer. Just to prime the lid so we can put down shadow. And it's a unique creamy formula with a matte finish, 12 hours, smudge proof, wear time. And it comes in six universal shades. Um, it delivers a boost of moisture to your eyelids, can be worn alone or under eyeshadow to rev up intensity. We actually got it in white because when we ordered this elf stuff online that was in the only colour available so obviously I'm not going to go too hard with this because I don't want to look ashy. You know what I feel like one of them people when they've been on sunbed oh or skiing and they come back they go white eyes like woo I think you went a bit hard. I didn't. A little goes a long way. <laughs> Just to warn you. Now we're going to move on to eyeshadow, and it is the Mad for Matte Eyeshadow Palette in Summer Breeze. It contains 10 perfectly curated matte eyeshadows for achieving a bold but subtle everyday look. The complementary shades are ideal for shading, highlighting, and defining the eyes using satin matte shadows as a liner on the lid and in the crease for any eye. For an expert, expertly contoured blending look. That's all it says. Ten shades. We'll number them left from right. So I'm going to start with colour number one. I've got in number two, in number three. I'm just going all over the lid with that actually. And I'm just going all over the lid with that fair colour number one. Colour number six. Corner of my eye. Close my lid as I do it. And it's going to give me that little bit of a line so I can see where I've got to start blending from. I'm just going to go in the outer V with some of this black, which is number 10. It's quite a lot of fallout from this. I can't even lie. I'm just going to deepen it up or not. Just slightly. Just to add a bit of dimension to my eye. I'm going to go in shade number 7. I'm just going to go up a little bit with that. I'm just going to deepen that. Out of the corner, just there was a slide. And then finally, number eight, just off the corner of the eye. I always forget about all the faces you pull when you're doing anything on your eyes. It's just a natural, you pull a face. I'm going to go with that very, very pale colour again. I'm just right. going to take that plum across the bottom lines. Okay, so just off camera, we've just done our eyeliner. Um, and now I'm going to go in with the putty uh, blush. Elf or multi dimensional face and body shimmer. I, it's a nice little compact palette, so I'm going to use that for highlight. Right, this brush is pretty sheer but buildable, which is what I like. I don't like to be like looking like all razor cheeked. So that's the blush. I don't mind that actually. I'll be going in with the 3 in 1 Elf. Mascara. 
which it claims it's meant to define volumize and lengthen your lashes and it's got a unique silicone brush for a dramatic look well here's the applicator so i'm using the mineral infused mascara in black let's see what he has to say about this US we listened, we have a reformulated for improved performance. This mascara contains all natural minerals, wax infused with kaolin, ka kaolin still don't know if I'm spending that saying that right, zinc oxide to create a create full, healthy looking lashes. The brush head is designed to minimize clumping for option op optimal application. That to me just looks like a basic mascara wand. If I'm honest, let's take a quick look. I'm not sure about this mascara. It's taking a little while to dry down. I can feel like my lashes sticking together as I blink. I'm sure that's not meant to happen. <laughs> I've not really had that before with mascara, have you? What? When you blink, your eyelashes feel like sticking together. Oh, that's what I'm having here as well. You feel the same? Yep. It's wax infused, so I'm wondering if that's what the problem is. I'm not sure, but I need to try and like, help it to dry down or something. Just two products left to go. The jelly highlighter, which I'm quite excited to use. Oh, I don't know if you meant to shake it, but I've shook it. It's all shook up. Oh. Oh look at that, looks like it's about to pour out, wibble wobble wibble wobble jelly on the plate, jelly the pound of plates, oh 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 wow, that's oh. nice, oh wow, I do like that, I don't, <laughs> I don't, that's nice, yeah if it blends out, that is a lot, I can't really see it now. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Oh wow. So, two products left for me. I have lips. Oh wow. Both of these lips are plumping. I've got one in the shade Peach Bellini. Yeah, and then the mint melt. This is in a hint of mint. And I have champagne glam in the limping glow. So your um, yours is more glittered than mine. Mine's matte. However, let's see how it comes out. Oh god, there's not a lot on the dough. It does say you can actually use these on top of. Lip colours and other lip products, but it's meant to be plumping while cooling. Oh. Home lot. Glittered. Mm. I can't feel no cooling. I get more cooling after normal. I quite like. I quite like it to be honest. So, last minute. Set in spray and then we're done. Ooh. And that's the makeup mist and set in clear. We went. Oh, they smell too great. I'm not gonna lie, but let's see if it does what it does. As soon as I sprayed that on my face, it made my eyelashes like start sticking together again. Right. There's no information about it apart from water, alcohol, yeah, that. It says it's available in a few different sizes, so there's no information on that. All in all, let's start with primers. I'm going to, I like the primer. I can't speak for the others, but the illuminating one I like. So you like the illuminating one, okay. Foundation. 
I like the foundation, it works for me. I hated it. Concealer also works fine, as you can see. So yeah, I would use that. Yeah, I would again. use the concealer again. Bronzer. I'd try the bronzer, but I'd want to try it in a, a deeper colour. Yeah. Deep shade. I'm thinking I would use his shade more for contouring. Whereas I need a deeper shade. Yeah. White eye primer. I um, liked it. I like the primer, but just not in white, so I definitely want to try it in a different shade. I, I like it as, as a base for any of your highlight or your, your contouring areas. I really like that. Mascaras. Mm. Didn't like no, it. No, I'm not a fan of this. Not mascara. at all. I've got transfer underneath. My eyelashes just feel like they're sticking together. They are. At one point, I actually had bottom and top stuck together. Me too. So, um, even now, wouldn't use it again. The yeah. wax is obviously there's too much wax in it or something. I don't it know. It just doesn't work for us anyway. The palette. It's pigmented, it does what it says, it's matte. There's a bit of fallout. And yeah, not on your face, not so much on your face, but... I, I, I would use it again. Blush. I like it, shape, it's buildable. I definitely like it. And it's got a luminosity about it as well, as you can probably see. Obviously I've got a highlighter on also. However, you can see on the cheek where I've put the brush, it, it has a slight luminosity. But I don't even know if that's actually the primer coming for as well. Like, it could be a combination of all these things working together. Mm. Mm. Highlighter. Mm. I liked my highlighter. It was a body, face and body shimmer. My but I liked it. Mine was a bit shocking when you first put it on, because it's like, bam! So you, you have to work it and blend it in. But it blends, it blends. So I'll use it again. Probably more on my body, actually. Like collarbones. Accentuate. Um, next lip. Mm. I've got a nice glass, it's got a nice glisten. They've got a slight ting to ting 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 <laughs> It's got a slight sting to them. You see, I think the opposite. No, I think it's alright. I've I'm, used the it's normal a bit sticky though. and their mint and I didn't get anything until I put their mint one on. So I've got a clear one to try, but I'm gonna try that in another video. Two products left. Which is the setting spray. It's set. Yeah, it's actually, I don't it's mind. Actually it's actually mattified it, I think, for me. And yeah, it looks fine on me too. <laughs> I, I don't feel so. Ooh, I actually feel like I look better. So yeah, I would use that again. Yeah, I've just, I've just had a slight wiggle of my face right and make fun crack. So it's held it. Last but not least. Now, anyway. The brushes. My concealer brush was actually not too bad. Um, yeah, I can't, I'm going to use it again, definitely. It's quite dense, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite a nice brush. It's got a nice bounce. It's got a nice bounce. I, I would use this again, but probably not for its purpose. I think it, it did it. It smoothed it round quite nice. It'd be a nice foundation brush. Yeah. Um, that that was my first thought. So yeah, it was an alright brush. For its purpose, it did it, but it's nothing to rave about. Right. Overall, what, do, you like, do you like the products you've used? Yes or no? 80% yes. So for me, it's a... Yay!